Today is episode 11 of our Goodwill series and we just got to Goodwill and we are actually here before it opens. It opens in two minutes though and there's already a line. It's been a long time since I've been at a Goodwill right before it opens. I know, I'm excited. People I'm excited. do line up. Like it would take you a week to visit every Goodwill in Portland. That needs to be a thing. Right. My husband's full of great ideas, but this might be my very favorite. Over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be taking you with me to every single Goodwill within the Goodwill Industries of the Columbia Willamette. I went on their website and guess what? It turns out that there are over 55 Goodwills in this region. So join me as we travel around Washington and Oregon, thrifting each Goodwill, looking for items to resell. This is gonna be a thrift series you are not gonna to wanna to miss, so don't forget to subscribe. And let's go check these Goodwills off one at a time. You are biting oh, off something. You put the idea in my head and I am you. running with it. We're gonna hit three Portland stores with you today. We may or may not add an extra one on the end, so you'll just have to stay to the end to find out if we do. We gotta yeah. go, we gotta go. We're we gonna are go at the dude. Goodwill. We're at the Portland. Goodwill and it's called Goodwill Portland. We have a new color off this week and it is yellow. So everything yellow tagged is 50% off. Jesse, do you need a raccoon with a fish? <laughs> what is this thing? Oh my god. It's a bobble. It's like a bobblehead, but it's giant. Is that any kind of tag? I'm very curious. It's uh 1999 yellow, so it's half off. Surprise. Somebody mm. didn't want it last week. <laughs> it means it's been here for almost a month, I think. Too funny. It's pretty with the cranes on it. What's that? That's cool. That's beautiful. Ooh, good eye, babe. That's a really good one. It's only $9.99. Does that say Laura? I'm just kidding. It, it kind of does look like my yeah. signature, doesn't it? What does it say? Can you lift that tiny little bit up? It says Luna. Oh. L U Lunt. Lunt. Something Lunt. Hmm. We're definitely going to get that as long as it doesn't have any big cracks or chips. That is, that, I'm already happy right now just with that one find. You know, we've been looking for large holes. This is actually plastic. Yeah, <laughs> I, th I, thought I don't need a large story. plastic. No, we don't need a large plastic bowl. You were correct. We do need a bowl about this size and it would be nice to be white because it would match with so many other things we already have. That looks like maybe Italian pottery. Let's look at the bottom of that one. Very this traditional. One? Actually, no, the, that one right there. Okay. Very traditional looking, but Italy. made in Italy. Probably, actually, no, it's not. It's not what? It's not Italy. It's not? Is it Portugal? Is no. it Spain? No. Nope. Is it Poland? No. Nope. <laughs> Oh my gosh, where is it? Hungry. Made in Hungary. Ah, I feel like there's so much potential on these shelves today. I know. They're the Portland full. Goodwills can have really good things. Yeah. There's a reason there's a line, although we did notice that most of the people went to close. So I think that there are a lot of clothing dealers. This is kind of nice. Signed MM and it's only $4. It's got kind of an interesting glaze on it. it doesn't feel very sturdy though. I'm worried it would not do well in shipping. You always got to think about that when you ship items. It was a little cute teapot. And that one's kind of worn. Four dollars. Oh, it's actually only two dollars because it's half off. But it's kind of rippled and worn. There's a mid-century ashtray. I wonder if this is one that would have maybe even had a stand. Ten dollars. It's got some chips on it. You know how some of them have the metal stand, the base? Yeah. I feel like these larger ones sometimes do. Glass elephant bookends, thirteen dollars each, so twenty six for the set. Oh, that one's got a big chip. Mm -hmm. 
Is this silver plated? I stuff? think so. So my speculation, because this Goodwill always have shelves and shelves of this. So my speculation is it all gets sent to one location where somebody's kind of an expert and goes through it all and picks what goes on the website. I have nothing to back that up other than my own speculation, but I think it's the only reason that would make sense for so much of this to be here in one spot. At least the shelves are really stocked today. Yeah. Oh look, it's the Russian stacking dolls. Can you open that up for me? Let's see if there's one inside it. No, I can't. The glue shit, I don't know. Okay. It's too tight. Ooh, there's actually nothing inside it. Usually there's a whole bunch of stacking dolls that get smaller and smaller as you open them up. My nieces are Russian and they play with those all the time. It's really cute. They usually have a little treat in the small one or some kind of a little toy trinket they keep in there. I feel like you just keep coming across tons of collections of stuff here. My parents brought us back these when they went to the Netherlands when I was a kid. And my goodness, they sure hurt. I'm gonna clean that up, $5. Not ready for it to be Halloween at Goodwill. That's pretty it's early. It's too soon. Too soon, Goodwill. Oh no. <laughs> Please. Are you gonna put those with your fish lights? Yeah. <laughs> if they were fish eyes, I would. Oh my god, no. Well, that's pretty good. It's only $4.99. It's a nice stoneware pot. Probably only 90s, but I love the color. That'd be actually a good size for putting utensils in. Look at it. Check it out. Hey, cool. Those are good ones, too. Yeah. Oh, sweet. $2.99. All right, let's get that one. These ones are composite and so ceramic. Those can go on the kids' table. Perfect. You want to do some calculator shopping? You know, I think start I'm going to start a new store or eBay store. Calculators and more. Calculators. I mean, this is a good spot to start stocking up. These are these are oldies. You know what, though? They're on all our phones. We don't need staplers either because we hardly use paper. I'm going to do calculators and staples. Staples and more. $6.99. Out of all these pots, this was the only one that kind of stood out to me. This would make a really good utensil crock. I'm on the fence here. Yes? No? All right, let's get Jesse's take. Is this a yes or a no? <laughs> um, for me, I, I wouldn't get it. It's a no. Yeah. It's a no. Okay. That one took me a minute. Sometimes you just gotta sit with it for a minute and, and think is this for salad it would make sense it it's like a head lettuce. scratcher should I scratch yeah scratch my head <laughs> there's this place has, again has a ton of these old liquor bottles mm -hmm. look it's new hampshire oh stop it oh my gosh leave me alone <laughs> <laughs> uh it's new hampshire okay, mm -hmm. we know that just so everyone knows we know new hampshire is new hampshire <laughs> not shire just like oregon is oregon not oregon <laughs> Hey, we all say things differently depending on where we're from, and that's okay. That's the beauty of being different. You don't know till you know. This is true. Hey, that's why we're out here learning. Okay, we're kind of feeling like we're done here. We've looked up and down all the aisles. We don't have a lot, but we've got a few things, and I'm really excited about that pot that Jesse found, and then we've got some Tiki Party stuff, and a couple things for the online shop, but not bad.
very excited about this vase. Honestly, the trip there into Portland, I feel like was worth it just for this vase. We don't know who the artist is. It's signed Lunt, L-U-N-T. We think it might be by the artist David Lunt, but we are not positive yet. So we've got to do a little bit more research, but I think it's really beautiful. Good eye, babe. You're getting good at spotting the right studio pottery. <laughs> Well, thank you. I feel like I've been learning a little bit. I've looked around our house a little bit. I kind of see what <laughs> is going on. I actually think that's great that you're using the house for inspiration for what to look for. And I like it too. Yeah, it's a great base. Yeah, I like the colors. And it was only $9.99, so $10 for this fabulous piece of studio pottery. I also wanted to mention that these little X's that you see, you will often see Roman numerals on the bottom of items at our local Goodwills. And that is just a pricing system that they use in case the tags come off. Now, a lot of people really worry about them not being able to come off, but as you can see, they're not permanent marker. Now, they do need to be wiped off right away. If you find a piece of pottery that has an unglazed bottom, I would immediately wipe it off because thankfully the glazed ones it's not an issue at all sometimes on the unglazed pottery you do have to use a little bit of sandpaper to kind of get down in there usually it's not an issue every once in a while it is it's not great for clothing I'll tell you that it's a little bit hard to get out but usually it does come out and it's not permanent marker we saw lots of people in line when we were getting ready to go in and we were kind of worried we were like oh man we're going straight to the pottery and straight to the figurines and we got to the aisle and no one was in it. It was kind of weird. Everyone was going pretty much for clothing. I could tell when we got there. It was other resellers in line. You can just tell, you know. We know. You we know. know. We know our people. We know our people. You know resellers. Vintage clothing is super trendy here in Portland. Haven't you been to like a secondhand fashion show here or something? I like have. That? I went to a secondhand fashion <laughs> show. I forgot it's about like that. It's like a runway it of people wearing used clothes. It was fashion made out of recycled clothes. So they either sewed pieces together or took fabric from old things or just reimagined how actual pieces could be worn together to be really different and out there. And I just, it's so much fun. We are headed to the next good will which location are we going to it's called broadway all right we're headed to broadway and i haven't been to this one in a hot minute so oh, it's I'm been kind of a excited. really long time yeah yeah it's been a really long like time you haven't been, been there in years yeah maybe a decade oh my gosh it's been that long yeah Wow. Well, I've been there a couple years ago, but I mean, it has been a while. So I'm excited. This, this series is really getting us out. We're getting to all the stops. I feel like you would find a use for this. It's a baseball vase, <laughs> like a mitt with the ball. It's a hole. From Japan, two ninety nine. dollars Could remind you of all your baseball games in Japan. What's this? Mm, it seems not a good sign, but I sure like the shape on it. Oh yeah, I didn't see that Ooh, It's really light for being glass. Is it glass? Yeah, it is glass. Oh yeah. It's kind of cool. That's weird. But the seam makes me feel like it's lower quality. What is that? Is that a moose? Interesting. It's like a donkey moose. A donkey moose? Doesn't it it has the shape of a donkey. Oh, it? it does have big giant ears, but I thought they were antlers. You're right. Is it a donkey? Is it a moose? I don't think those are supposed to be ears. They just look like donkey ears. It does. Exaggerated. Yeah, I could, I could see the donkey. I see it. Small handkerchief folded glass. Look at you glass man. <laughs> I do like that it's two-toned like that. I think that's actually pretty neat. $6.99, no chips, black and white, classic, timeless, maybe. That's a maybe. I almost missed this. Look at $3.99, no chips, are we good? Sweet. when you were pointing up here you were pointing to this yankee candle thing are you, are you serious yeah but then i was like oh that we were gosh. just talking about that you learned <laughs> i don't think i've ever seen an empty yankee candle thing. like is, is this the first time it? anyone's ever burned a yankee candle all the way down how did they get all of that out they must have melted it out or it came from the factory and it never got filled 2.99 have you ever seen anybody actually burn an entire yankee candle down no i, don't think so. I haven't 
I have not. Hey, yes, it's cute. I was hoping so bad that this was gonna be cute and I turned it over, you know why? I just got a wooden table. You helped me unload it uh -huh. at the studio for a shipping table and it needs a single small knob because I wanna replace the one that's on there right now. This one's only $2.99, it's blue and it's perfect. Originally $4.99 at World Market. Hey, at least it's cheaper than the World Market <laughs> price tag. I can't complain. I wish it was half off, but I'm, I'm really excited. Shelves are looking pretty bear in this Goodwill. Mm, not super hopeful. We'll keep trying. We'll keep trying. That one's Ikea. I don't know this glass bowl. It's kind of fun. Oop, big chip. I'm still on the hunt for a little tiny strainer. It's interesting. I want a koala bear so bad. You want a koala bear like in real life? Are they as nice as they look? Or are they one of those animals like a raccoon that's just a little bit feisty? I have never seen a koala bear in person. I haven't either. But look how cute they are. And I would like to. Let's go to Australia. Let's go down under and go find one. This is the barest wood aisle that I've ever seen at a good wood aisle. This is baskets and wood. And this is everything. Wild. Look at the pockets on this vintage coat. Those are so good. It's $12.99. I good. love the pockets. I'm so excited. I like it. I'm going to take this to Paris. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Here's the tag oh, on the inside. Bear. Since I'm not going to be selling this, just in case you want it. Pier for Fashion Outerwear by Davis of Boston. Love it. I'm so excited. It's in perfect condition. I think my favorite part are the pockets and the stitching. While I was talking about my coat, Jesse was taking a look at this and it is a beautiful design. It's crate and barrel. It has a really nice layered look to it. Very excited about this coat. I have the perfect place to wear it. You know why I'm really excited to take this traveling? Because it's lightweight. It's lightweight and it's actually not going to wrinkle, I don't think. It's that kind of material that I don't think is going to wrinkle and I can just kind of roll it up and like it's going to be pretty small for a coat. I mean, that's not bad for a full on coat and I can probably get it tighter. That was kind of a not a very real effort right there. Look at the pocket. I think this is probably my favorite thing about 70s clothing. The outside stitching that actually contrasts instead of blending in and big pockets and big buttons and big zippers. I love it. Super excited. I'm going to wear this on the group trip, shopping the flea markets in Paris. I can't wait. It's a good Paris jacket. You know the blue chore jackets mm -hmm. that everyone wears in Paris? I feel like that color blue, everyone is wearing that in Paris. I also like collars. Sorry, I'm very excited about my coat. I also love the collars from the 70s. Okay, we're headed to Lombard. I've been looking for more books on my bookshelf. Mozart. Let's take a look at what that looks like on top of the cover. Um, are you a cover book person or a non-cover person? <laughs> me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just not a book person, actually. You're not a book person. <laughs> you know, people have asked me before what you read, and I'm like, I've never seen them read a book in. I don't read books. You don't, but you're don't. smart, so I guess it's okay. It'd be nice That's for great. sushi. You could have your oh, cookies and sushi. Yeah. yeah. This is interesting with the feather leaf. Twelve ninety nine. Hmm. It's kind of stamp. I feel like I just saw something with that stamp this last weekend. And this is handmade. Oh yes, Art Assignment by Anna. Seven ninety nine. It's kind of heavy, but I guess that's good if you're pressing down on it because you're going to have your lime pressing down your orange if you're making orange juice. I think I'm not going to get it for $7.99, but it's not bad.
That's kind of fun because it's got the handle so you can carry it around. I know. $19.99. It's headset capable. Ooh. So you could put your headset and carry Ooh. it around. <laughs> I know it's new and it's not vintage and obviously the tassel gotta go. Don't you think this would look great up in Little Italy? Um, sure. That's not my territory. It's not my department. <laughs> so I don't know. Okay. This looks like it's for drapes or something. It does. It does. It's not, it's not a good combination. I'm willing to pay. As oh, is. I'm willing to pay $24.99. That's the most I'm willing to pay. Stop it. What? You didn't look at it? No, I didn't look at it. Oh. I just, I do know Goodwill's pricing. Like, <laughs> yes, $24.99. It says as is, which means so something's going something on wrong. here. As long as there's nothing major. A little chip I'm okay with. As, oh, there's oh, that. I'm fine with that. Is that it, nothing. you think? I hope so, because I really want it. I feel like, if, you gotta it's make probably, sure there's no crack. You know, home goods or world market, maybe pottery barn minus that thing. I'm not sure. Mm. I love it. I actually think I'm going to do something weird with it. Do you want to know what I want to do with it? Maybe. Maybe. I kind of want to turn it into a little side table. I need something really short that could have a top on it next to these two chairs that I have. And I think there's a chance it could look cool. Do you? Do you have faith in me, babe? Well, here's... Okay. <laughs> I'm not... This isn't a doubting your ability. This is doubting this is ability because you can only go so far here because of how small this is. So it'll be unsupported so what if, whatever top first of you all, put I don't on. want it to be glass because I don't want you to see through and see that it was obviously a vase. And I don't want to turn it upside down because I like the design going the way that it was meant to be. But here's what I'm thinking. You know how you can go and buy small rounds of wood? Sometimes they use them as uh, like charcuterie boards or cutting boards. I I've seen them at Target. I've seen them at lots of places. I, I, I haven't seen one here at Goodwill, but I might be able to thrift it. What if I do something small that's actually the same size as like the exterior here? So it's just a small wooden top, maybe a light colored wood to kind of match this color. Yeah. And then it's just a set two drinks. I think so. Know? Yeah. It's not, it's not for you, eating a meal. You can't come too far out from here unless you're going to attach it to this or else it's going to fall off. So the, the closer in that you can get to here, okay. the more likely it is that it's actually going to stay on top of this thing when you set things on the edges okay, or perfect yeah. and i can glue it down because i think i might be okay permanently doing that because i just don't need a vase like this because most of my planters they've got drainage holes i'm worried if i drilled one through there in the bottom it would actually possibly break well, it probably would and yeah and it's got kind of a narrow opening which doesn't really work for a lot of the styles of plants that i have i think it would be a cool thing repurposed into an end table hello <laughs> What happens when you take your husband with Hello, Luke, I am your father. Made in England, $9.99. Ooh, I'm so proud. That's pretty cool. It is. Look how large it is. That's great. I feel like that would be a cool one to actually polish up. I know you usually don't. You don't polish your stuff up. But this one could be pretty cool polished up. I don't disagree. Because with I think it. you've got brass and copper, so. And it kind of all blends right now because yeah. it's all got so much patina. Right. It I might really be pretty dramatic it? if you do it. Let's do it. Although it does have kind of that chippy. Well, that's like rust or something. Mm -hmm. It's rested through. Let's do it. Are you ready for one more Goodwill? I sure am, and this is one of my favorite Goodwills. We come here a lot. We do, we do. This is a common one. This is a, a regular yeah. for sure in our weekly or bi-weekly rotation. Right, but we haven't been here as part of the tour. We have not. The official tour stop. This is gonna be crazy though because after we're done inside Scapoose Goodwill here, all we have left, Oregon Coast Goodwills, the bins and the boutiques, and that's it. It's crazy, I can't believe it. All right, let's get inside and get shopping.
What are these? These are interesting. Hey, those are kind of cool, the shapes. They're nice and low too, little side tables. Obviously not love in the red. Oh, but. That's only $2.99. $3 cents. a piece. Oh, we have to Wait, get it. Wait, is it for both or is it for each? I think it's each, $2.99. Imagine if I, re if I refinish those. Those could be great little Italy side tables too. I know we just got that pot and we're really excited about doing that, but maybe I could do both and see what, what sticks because there's two of these. I mean, these are actual side tables. And maybe I use the pot for a pot. <laughs> just use things for what they're made yeah. for. Yeah, sometimes. Wouldn't that be weird? That just works. <laughs> there's no way we can't get them. There's no way. No, they're, they're the dice. price is too good to roll the dice on. And I have so yeah. much paint. I have so much paint. So we're gonna paint those. And I don't know good. what color yet, but that's awesome. Two ninety nine. We might have just found the little side tables for Little Italy. Jesse's breaking them over here, but he's like, they're only two ninety nine. So if I break them, it's not that bad. I mean, <laughs> I, I think they could use some more nicks actually to just kind of. Yeah, it just adds a little look, bit of charm. Look at these things. What are they? Nightmare fuel is what they are. Oh, I don't want to see them then. I'm going to close my nope. eyes. The camera can see them, but I'm not going to see them. Ew, clowns. They're like tiles. Really? Made in Italy? Okay, I lied. Not yeah. everything made in Italy is good. <laughs> not everything. Italians know. No, they, they know. don't. It's great. They were just unfortunately commissioned by Look at these things. American. <laughs> I think I actually want to use these in our bathroom. Did you know that I actually had family friends that were clowns, like real professional clowns growing up? Hey, hey, if you want to get them and you want to start your own vintage store with your own vibe, you can get them. I'm good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this thing. This is I like think, what a clown would ride on too. It's like clown well, since you know so many clowns in your life, maybe you should purchase this. <laughs> I mean, it's been a while since I've talked to them. $149.99? It's a Schwinn. Is that worth it? I don't know. I don't know. A Schwinn? What I don't the, know. The I don't know my double bikes. Bike I don't think you know double like, bikes either. No. Oh, oh no. It's a hundred dollars. That's a little steep for me. Oh no. We do no stop. <laughs> we do not need that in our life. Mm. <laughs> Look at this beauty. Signed, titled. They only made ten of them. It says nine of ten. Twenty-four ninety-nine. I feel like I've heard of Gusk before. Do I have more information oh. back here? Jennifer I think it's Gusky. Simone is the name. The title and when was it? 10, 10, 31. <laughs> yeah, kinda... 03. 03. So hey, that's that's actually 20 years old. It's a block print. Yeah, this is really great. We're gonna get it for 25. Yeah. I like the art. I like the colors. I think it's neat. Kind of goes with our new end tables that we're gonna paint. <laughs> What's going on back here? We got some art. Do you need, oh, stop. Do you need a hand? <laughs> <laughs> you scared me. Let me give that you a hand. Not funny. Put it away. Put it away. You're fired. You're not allowed to come thrifting with me anymore. <laughs> I want to see what this one is. I'm scared I'm going to knock everything over. Ooh, that looks like it could be something. No, what is it? This what canvas is it? here. Oh, that looks beautiful. Can't decide how I feel about that. It's $9.99. I'm thinking... Yard in Cordoba. Cordoba. Where's Cordoba? Cordoba. Is that... Spain? Hmm. Sounds like it. It is beautiful. I'm going to say no, but it is beautiful. Okay. And I'd like to be there in real life right? Just minus that hand. Spain. Spain, you Googled it? I surprise myself sometimes. <laughs> you surprise me every time. Ooh, ooh. That's I cool. Love. <gasps> what? It's just a print, but I love the art. Holy cow. Who is the original buy? That's amazing. You know what? I would put that in our house. We kind of have a tree theme and the colors are great. Yeah, that's cool. The only thing I don't like is I don't like the metal on this frame, but if we if we pop that metal off, there's kind of like a little ridge here. I've seen this these frames before without the metal, and it actually looks kind of cool with the ridge open. Yeah. So I think I would do that. Other than that, I even like the matting on it. Let's see how much it is. It's Ooh. yellow, it's half off. I can't see, I'm gonna just go like that. It's fourteen ninety nine, and, and it's, it's half yellow, off? so it's Oh, half we're off. getting that for sure. Yeah, oh, we're scoring here at Scapoose. What else do we have down here? Jesse, there's another one. I don't love this one as much though. Not as good, it's not as good. Is there anything? Oh no, I'm just that I'm feeling it right now. I'm 
happy. I'm enjoying this Goodwill set of two. I like the design on the top, but it's not the same as our teak ones we've been kind of collecting for a while now. Well, that's kind of neat. Doesn't that almost look like a castle? I was wondering what it was. Let's Me see. too. I thought, I thought the bottom was, like was going to be gone. I thought you put a candle in there. You do put a candle. Oh, really? Yeah, and then it would flicker through that. That's actually pretty neat. I like it. Makes me think of a castle walls where they would shoot the bone arrows out. Wonder if that came from the same house. $9.99. Not bad. Do you remember when we sold our first one of these? I don't know if I remember the orange. exact moment, but I remember <laughs> having them before. I feel like it was in the top 10 first quote vintage finds we ever found. For a store. Long time ago. <laughs> oh. This one's like that one's worse. That one's worse. Jelly. Ooh, copper. Are these copper? Can't tell if they're real copper. I think they're just made to look like copper. Four ninety nine each. Yeah, look at this one. It's got abalone shell. It needs to be polished up just a little bit, but we could do that. How do you polish it? Six ninety nine. There's a little scrub. It's not Barkeeper's Friend, but there's a little. Oh, to because it's acrylic. It's yeah. like a use something that has, I think, a little bit of a grip yeah. to it. Yeah. And you can kind of get it polished up. It's like when I used to resurface my CDs when they got scratched. Yes, them. exactly. Right? You buff it out. Yeah. Six ninety nine. And a cracker. No, I don't need that. It's pretty heavy duty. It doesn't even work. Oh, you're... I don't... That's understand. not working. I don't know. Hmm. I don't Maybe know what a Carolina show. cracker is, but... Whatever it is, we don't need it. I feel like I don't <laughs> want to know what a Carolina cracker is. <laughs> Jesse. I'm here. I just found a piece of signed abstract art. It's m maybe not that old. It might be 03 or 08, but look at that. That's pretty good. You need my help? I do. You get it? I need assistance in aisle four, please. <laughs> <laughs> clean up. About to be a clean up in aisle four. Oh, I shouldn't. I asked the wrong person. Oh, no. Wait. That's weird. Is that a person leaning up against the still life? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of weird. I like it though, right? Kind of emo. That's pretty good. JJ, I can't, I can't tell what that says. Not sure. And it's framed. How much is it? Seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. Yeah, let's get that. That's interesting. Indication. Jesse said there's an indication he needs a there's little. An bit indication of time. that a collection may have been donated. That so. might have items of interest. Yes. That's fine. I'll look at this while you're doing that. Look at that. Uh. Great cats. Oh. It's a Lorenzo. Not quite. That one's more like Lorenzo. <laughs> I love the internet sometimes. You know why? Because you met me on the internet. I did. Sort of. I did meet you on the internet. <laughs> this is true. If any of you want to hear our story, how we met on the internet, I will link it in the description below. I talk about it in my wrap up video of my Oregon coast trip, I think two years ago. And I tell the whole story. I also talk at length about aphantasia, which I've mentioned in a couple of videos recently, which is my inability to visualize. So if you're interested in either of those two things and you want to hear more from me on them, I'll link it in the description below. That is not what I was going to say. The reason that I love the internet is because in a couple minutes that he spent loading the car and kind of rearranging the stuff, I was able to find out the artist on that tree print and learn the whole history. I even watched a two and a half minute YouTube video on the artist. His name is Tom Thompson. He's a very renowned artist out of Canada. You can see the original painting in Canada in the gallery. National Museum of Canada. That's probably not what it's actually called. I will put it right here, what it's actually called. It was painted in 1917, and I believe that it's been in the museum since 1918. It takes me at least two and a half minutes to load a car. Now everyone knows the secret's out. He has... <laughs> 
I'm not gonna lie. He does take a while, and I'm not lazy <laughs> by not helping. I'm doing him a huge favor yes. by not helping. Just he does not want my help, and I've learned that just just stay out of it. He has his <laughs> own system. When it comes to groceries, even I don't go anywhere near them. I guess I have some OCD things. <laughs> That's okay. I like I your put, I, When we go grocery shopping, does anyone else put all their items in the particular order on the belt that they are going to end up getting bagged in? I think that's smart. I actually don't think that's an OCD thing. I think that's pretty smart to do that. Like you do the stuff first that's going to go in the bottom it's of the bag. It's more the way then... you bag them. It's the how long it takes you to decide which item goes in the bag next. <laughs> Grocery shopping was actually one of our first dates because if you go back and watch the video, you will find out that we were roommates and friends before we started dating. And so grocery shopping was a normal thing in our household. So once we started dating, we already lived together. So we were like, what do we do? We went grocery shopping. So I learned about your little weird quirks beforehand. I had a heads up what I was getting myself into. <laughs> It's gonna look so much better. So I pulled out all of the metal strips and you can see there were some areas where it did kind of leave a little bit of damage because they had attached the strips with glue. So there were a few sections that the glue got on the wood so it pulled out. That's not a problem. All I've gotta do is give it a very light sanding just so that I'm not gonna get any slivers and everything's nice and smooth. Put another coat of a dark matching stain and it's gonna be good to go. Personally, I think that the metal strips took away from the beautiful art work and I'm so excited to get this one in our home somewhere. We'll find a spot for it. cleaned the vase and I even got all of the wax from the candle that was in there and I'm going to turn this into a vase instead but you've got to protect that wood inside so here's what I do. What do we think about these? Do you think those are going to work on Little Italy? We'll change the color up but we need little side tables next to the little freestanding chairs. Is that what they're called? Yeah. If you were interested in any of the vintage from today's episode, except for the art piece, I'm so sorry. I will be listing those items in my first Friday sale, which launches on my website the first Friday of every single month at leftcoastrevivals.com. The sales launch at 3 p.m. And if you want to see a sneak peek of what items are going to be in that month's sale, you've got to subscribe to my newsletter at leftcoastrevivals.com slash newsletter. I just got that whole mouthful out all in one take. Wow. That was pretty good. I'm, I'm kind of impressed with myself. <laughs> the coffee worked today. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. I hope you had a good time. We had a blast. We had a great time. And how do you do this? We'll see you, we'll in, see you the in the next, next episode. episode. <laughs> do you do this? Yes, that's perfect.